right, we're here today at Pizza City Fest. Welcome, everybody. Oh. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, host? Oh, man. Good to see you. Today, we are in the beautiful LA Live area. That's How right. do y'all feel? The Crypto Arena, uh. where LeBron's about to smoke the Kings, probably, because the Warriors suck. You know, don't, I. Don't record that. They're going to win. They're going to win. Well, we're in LA, we're vibing, it's the spirit. I got my boy Mark and Griffin today with the What's Good Do podcast. Maybe you can introduce yourself and then I'll ask my legendary question. Okay, okay. Mark Schechter, owner of Square Pie Guys. I'm running at pizza for Fuck Jerry, hell yeah. Griffin Baker, Griffin Baker Pizza Maker on Instagram, local caterer. Oh, also at Pizza Man 420, that's the OG, okay. Oh, and, and two sexy individuals making pizza, amazing, beautiful. I got this one question for y'all. It's Pizza City Fest, but feel free to just answer it the way you want it. What's good though? What's good though is probably like the best 40 pizzerias in LA. I'm feeling super full, feeling super happy. Got to meet a lot of cool people from the internet. <laughs> I'm having a great time. Oh, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Honestly, that's an untoppable answer. I think that was amazing. <laughs> I will say what's good though is yeah, I do think that it's very good though to see all of the best pizzerias in LA represented because even our driver from the airport here was like, there's no good pizza in LA. And I constantly hear there's no good pizza in California. Ooh. And where we're from in the Bay Area, people are like, no good pizza. And I'm like, if y'all only knew how many people are putting their heart and soul into making good pizza all the time, you know, if you only knew. So that's that's kind of what's good. Though. It's events like this where we're changing the landscape, changing the culture. And for people who are watching it, who don't know who you two are, maybe talk about the type of pizza that you're making so that we can spread the pizza gospel and awareness on what is good dough. Very because y'all y'all make it. That's right, we do. My style of pizza is like a neo-neapolitan, probably a pretty standard California style pizza. Okay, nice. Okay, pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> Brief, uh, short, but you know what? Sometimes yeah. pizza is just simple. It's all factual. It is. I, I, I'll just plug Griff real quick. This is his first time working the big commercial ovens yes. this week, or yes. yesterday, which is pretty epic. Uh -huh. I made all the styles. Obviously, Detroit style is what we sell at Square Pie Guys. I personally love to make as big a pizza as I humanly possibly can make. And uh, shout out to Atlas Steel Co. in Canada. They sent me that 20 by 24 jumbo steel for my mm. oven, and I stretched the biggest pies I possibly can stretch. So if it's like the, my style of pizza, it's the biggest pie I can make. Okay, much, okay, yeah. okay. Talk to us. How do you stretch a 20 inch pizza? Because I can't handle that big. Yeah, you got So I'm not a big guy. <laughs> okay, um, okay. I'm like a little short, stubby Jew boy, and um, <laughs> you got to use your whole arms. You oh. got to get in there, and okay. you got to, sometimes you got to let the table, yeah, you can touch that very gently. That's nice. <laughs> you got to let you gotta let the table do the work. You got to mm. let gravity do the work. If you use like a high hydration dough, it's, it's tricky because it can go as quick, uh -huh. but it's not it's like hard to open up because it's wet, it's wet or dough. But yeah, I think it's just more like not being afraid to like use more of your of your body okay. to manipulate the dough in the proper way. Okay. And then yeah, you let let gravity do the work. Use the table so you don't overstretch it and you don't have too many like you know thin spots. With it. And before we continue, I want to talk to you about the one podcast sponsor on this show, and that's Uni Pizza Ovens. Uni Pizza Ovens has been sponsoring the show since 2021, and I have to say. Thank you to them for helping make this podcast happen. So if you're looking to level up your pizza game, whether that's going from home pizza maker in a home oven to something that's a little bit high temperature, or if you're looking to get into that professional side of things, but don't want an oven that takes up so much fuel, got to get with Uni. Remember, please use that link in the show notes. It's my affiliate link and I can care less about the money. What's important is that Uni knows that I am having my listeners support them because you guys support me. I appreciate it so, so much when you use that affiliate link. I love you. Now let's get to the damn episode. Now, Griffin, uh, we know a lot about Square Pie Guys because they're this massive pizza Goliath in and SF. A lot of people know them worldwide. They got like a million and a half followers. But <laughs> Griffin Pizza Maker, <laughs> tell us a little bit about what you do within pizza, in the pizza world. I'm pretty much slanging pies from home and I'm teaching more, more recently private lessons. If you've got an oven at home and you don't really know what to do with it, give me a holler. I'll come to your house, put on a whole event, show you exactly what to do with that dough. Yes. Hmm. Griffin is basically me in 2017. That's mm. Like, okay. And this is and this like is this. where this like is this. where the pizza game can be going, right? Like yes. A lot of the vendors here, for example, my buddy Chris from Ozzy is over here is doing New Haven at Pete's in LA. Yeah. Guy from New Haven. Which started, is great, by the way. Very good. Started making pizza in the pandemic in his house. Okay. Like, there's so much access. Pizza, the barriers to entry for pizza, you know, in a lot of ways. Of course, let's, let's like, account for privilege and the ability to just, like, go fucking make pizza from home and not necessarily have to worry. But just to say, at a high level, to pick up flour and put water into it and put yeast into it is inexpensive. There's free videos on YouTube. You can make a pizza and learn how to 
like a, an amazing craft that can potentially be a business, be a hobby, whatever you want. Yeah. And you can do that with a very low barrier to entry. And I think it's pretty amazing. It is amazing. Absolutely. You know, going off of that, I started doing this a year, year and a half ago. And that's exactly how I got to where I am now, watching videos like you from the internet, yep. teaching yourself completely from home. It's a, yeah. you know, a real independent game out there. Yeah. We're not going to end this by saying, like, buy our six-part course online. That's not how this is going to end. Oh, well, we're out of time, so we'll end it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to make these in-person ones short and sweet. And I think because we have someone who just started a year and a half ago to someone who started maybe four or five years ago, we have a lot of people here, actually, surprisingly, who are very enthusiastic about pizza. I was in no Broner class. A number of people were raising their hands saying, you know, I'm thinking about just being more involved in pizza. And so what is your one tip? just to get more involved in the pizza world, however they want to define that. I mean, Griffin said it in his in his intro, like he's meeting people from the internet in real life. Like just talk to people, DM people. Most of the pizza world is very open-minded. DM I Drift, like, he's a like, great resource. What's up, bro? You, know, you guys are good. What's good, though? Now you're good. <laughs> um, so send an email, send a DM, talk to people. Most people don't have a lot of like pretense or ego about it. Hell no. They'll hook you up with tips. Let's do what it. do you think? It's probably the greatest community out there. You know, like you said, 99% of the people are absolutely awesome. Crypto is better. <laughs> Don't be afraid to reach out to people. <laughs> Everyone's happy to help. The crypto community. That's where you want to learn pizza. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Send, send Bitcoin to Alex. Yeah, okay, pan, pan, pan over there real quick. Any other, anything else, uh, fellas? Last well-wishing words to the listeners, to the viewers today. If you want to make pizza, Go for it. Just fucking start and don't stop. Yeah, keep shining on you. That's all I got for you, bro. Congrats. You're having a good year, man. Good for you. Thanks for having me. Appreciate y'all for listening and tuning in. Remember to always ask, what's good, dope? Thank you, Griffin. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate y'all. Mm. Mm. No way to make it more awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Before we wrap this episode of one of the four series from the Pizza City Fest, I want to go ahead and remind you that I am giving away a product from Rose Hill Sourdough called the Bread Nut. And I'm giving it away to those who leave a rating for the show, five stars, and screenshot it and then send it over to me. You can either DM it to me or email me, idriff at whatsgoodo.com. All of that's going to be linked in the show notes. But please grab your bread mat. It's such a cool product. I fully support it because it helps save the environment because we can all do our part, right? And yes, you can have it for free. If you leave a rating, go ahead and do that. Send it to me and I'll get one over to you. Uh, I think he ships US residents only, but if he does ship internationally and you send it to me, we'll figure that out, okay? Thank you for doing that. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode. Again, there are four interviews from Pizza City Fest that I want you to check out. So go listen to my other pizza pals that are on the podcast this week. Now, I want to challenge you. If there's something that you learned or loved or appreciated, I challenge you to create something on social media that is representative of that and post it, share it, and tag me. Maybe there's something that really stuck out to you. Maybe there's a life lesson. Maybe there's a new technique. Maybe there's just a thought that really resonated with you. Please share that and tag me. I would greatly appreciate it. Please check out the other conversations from Pizza City Fest. I think you're going to love them. I appreciate you. I love you. Till next time. Peace.